Boom, recording. Happy New Year, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's the first video of the year. In this video, we're just gonna chat to you about the couple shoot at a wedding and how I film it. So when I first started filming weddings five or so years ago, I'd usually just kind of jump on the back of the photographer, not literally, but I would, as the photographer's working, I'll just grab some shots as and when I could when they're walking to the location, when they're setting up, when they're posing, etc., etc. And for the most part, I was happy with that, worked well. These kind of shots, they're not gonna dictate the day or the film that you have. They just add some extra visuals to it. So it's just about being creative with them. At that point, five years ago, they still work great. They, I could still put them in the film and it still worked. So over time, I've wanted to, to look into ways that I could get some more creative visuals when it comes to the couple. I just think it enhances the video a little bit more and also it just fulfills the creative side inside me which I think a lot of us have when we're doing these kind of videos. So I've got, before I go through some of the shots that I like to get with a couple, just a little tip beforehand, before the day, communicate with the couple to make sure that they do have some time set aside for you and it's not a surprise for them on the day that when you say to them, oh, by the way, can we get some, some sh uh, couple shots together? Just suggest it to them beforehand and just say, oh, as well as the photographer getting some portrait shots of you, um, I'd also like to get some shots of you get together because obviously it can enhance your film. Um, it's good at that point, they'll already have an idea of the fact that they, they're gonna be filmed during that time as well, which they'll get that into their head and get their mindset ready, which is cool. And secondly, yeah, you just don't wanna be springing that on them and then them saying, oh, we don't really have time. Um, time often is a bit of an issue at weddings. It often overruns. You should probably suggest that you'll need 20 minutes or so and then if the worst case scenario and they are overrunning you might only get five or ten but at least you'll get something just always suggest a little bit more than you probably need i would say just because weddings they always overrun so i like to film these kind of shots in a higher frame rate 50p or 100p is always usually quite good it just gives you the option then to get some slow motion in post do some speed ramping if you want just play around with the footage a little bit more. You have that option in post rather than if you film everything in regular motion, 25p, then you're kind of stuck with that. So the easiest shots to get are the ones when the photographer is posing the couple. By that, I mean not actually when they're actually posing because I don't like to get people when they're posing in front of the camera. On film, it doesn't really look great. It's just the more the in-between moments. So at that point of the day, the couple, they're gonna have just been married. They're gonna be really, really happy. They're gonna be really, really close to each other most of the time anyway. And yeah, they're gonna be hugging, they're gonna be kissing, it's all gonna be happening naturally. In between the times when the photographer is changing their lens or setting up the shot, they're gonna to be together, they're gonna to be happy, smiley, joking. Those are the times where you just wanna have your camera on, be ready, and from a little bit of a distance, you wanna be watching them and get some, some shots in the most natural way possible. At this time, you don't really wanna be thinking, oh, just because the photographer is with them, I'm gonna go and just sit down and relax or chat with my second shooter or whatever. You need to be also taking advantage of this time to get some shots of them because you can get some really good natural stuff at this point. So number two is just getting walking shots, which again are very easy because the couple, they do have to walk from place to place, from location to location. So as they're doing that, just say, oh, I'm going to film you guys. It's important to say that you want them to be holding hands because otherwise, if you just say, I'm going to film you walking, the bride will most likely just be picking up her dress because she doesn't want it to get dirty, holding a bouquet in the other hand, and the groom will probably just be having a drink. And it doesn't really look like they're very close and romantic. Also, you don't want them looking at the camera because it kind of takes you out of the film a little bit. Um, so you just want them to be, you just want to explain to them that they, you want them to be looking at each other, chatting to each other, be as natural as possible, looking off camera, um, at the surroundings even, but just not looking at the camera as you're filming those shots. Get them from the side, get them from behind, get them from the front. Probably start off a little bit further away and then moving in a little bit closer as they're a bit more comfortable with you buzzing around them. But yeah, don't be afraid to get them kind of shots in the most creative way as possible. I usually like to use a gimbal because then it gives me the opportunity to, to, to be walking with them the whole time, capturing shots from low down um, if I need to as well. Even better is if you have a zoom lens with you, say like a 24 to 70 or I use a 28 to 75 by Tamron because then at that point you can also be getting some tighter shots of them walking as well as wider shots. If you don't have those things, it's fine. Getting walking shots just handheld as well, that can work. Or if you just wanted to be further away with your monopod and just static capturing them walking, that works as well. The way I like to do it, like I say, is I use my, my Xeon crane with a zoom lens and then I just have that little flexibility to, to get tighter and wider shots of them walking. So once the photographer's finished, 
you're gonna have your 10 to 20 minutes with the couple and they're gonna turn around to you and just be like, okay, so what do you want us to do? And you're gonna be like, um, okay, uh, do, 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 I'm not sure, I'm not sure. You're not gonna be like that because you're gonna watch this video and you're gonna have some ideas in your head of shots to get. So they'll say to you, okay, what would you like us to do now? I would suggest putting them in a nice, simple, easy position, which would be to be facing each other. Suggest to them something like, okay, just imagine you're back at the altar and you're just about to be you pronounced husband and wife and it's gonna be that magical moment where you're gonna build up to kiss again. Something like that often works and yeah just just them facing each other it's always going to help them to be smiling usually looking into each other's eyes that kind of stuff looks good on camera a lot of the time that's all i really need to do and i don't really need to say anything else and it just flows naturally after that and i'll just be working around them i'll just get some wide shots some close-up shots of them um, I might every now and again suggest, okay, put her in for a hug, kiss on the forehead, things like that. Easy things, not specific things like a photographer might do, like, okay, take your hand and put it there, here, there, because again, that's gonna take them out of the moment a little bit. It's just more things like, like I said, hugging, kissing, very basic, simple, easy things for them to do. But then I'm there ready with my camera, getting the type of shots that I want, which I, like I said, are a, a mixture of wide, medium. And then as things are progressing nicely and I've got those shots, I'll get in a little bit closer. And by that point, they won't even really notice that you're around and you can just get some even nice, tighter shots um, on their facial reactions. They'll be more comfortable at that point as well. So their facial reactions will look even better. Another stylistic kind of shot that you can get is when you're, if you're inside um, looking for doorways because you can always expose for the outside and get some nice silhouettes of them facing each other. That always looks quite good and stylistic. Even if you're not inside and you're outside, all you need to really do is be facing a little bit lower, facing up to the sky because the sky is always brighter expose again for the sky you'll get them silhouetted out and um, yeah just while that's happening kiss on the forehead kiss on the lips things like that you just need three to five seconds here and there and it's all about the variety of shots that you can get at this point if you did want to go a little bit further and then you know you, you sense that the couple are really comfortable and they're happy and you know you just wanted to suggest a few more things quite often I'll just say to them guys look you have a first dance okay um, why don't you just practice your first dance here right now? Make sure they are obviously away from people because maybe if they've got a choreographed dance that they don't want people to see it. So if they're like, I don't know, behind a bush or behind a tree, but just suggest to them, guys, just have a quick practice. Um, it'll look good on camera, why not? I think nine out of 10 times that I've suggested that they always go, yeah, yeah, why not? And often they'll maybe even do it more than once. They'll say, oh no, we didn't get that quite right. We'll do it a second time. Especially if they've got a choreographed dance. This works well as well because later on when they're actually doing their dance, you can, you have a nice little transition if you want to do it within the video where you can transition from them being outside, say at sunset, dancing to be to then being inside and you can find the exact same point of the dance, maybe a twirl or something where you can transition in between and it's a nice little visual. If they say, oh no, we, we don't really have anything planned, we're just going to be slow dancing and the song is very slow, even that's cool, just say, oh, okay, we'll just, you know, just get close to each other, just put her into your arms, just sway a little bit. And then you can get some shots of that. It's something a little bit different again. Either you're going a 360 around them if you've got a gimbal or even handheld, or you might just want to be static again and, and get some close up, medium wide of them just, just swaying a little bit. But it's something again, that's good for the video. There's a little bit of movement there. Definitely still ask them to do that. If you're really feeling confident by then, just say, okay, oh, Chris, just pick her up and swing around. If, if, if you say it in a, in, a, in a fun, happy, confident way, then um, not like I'm saying it now, but if you say it in a, in a fun, happy, confident way, then he probably will just do that. And um, obviously take a look at the scenario and make sure that you know he, he looks like he would be able to pick her up and don't make things awkward. Um, yeah, make sure that he's obviously a little like bigger, a bit stronger, just like, and obviously the dress as well is quite heavy. So if she's wearing a, a, a lighty, lighter weight dress, yeah, just why not? Pick her up, swing her around, that's cool. Why not? That, 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 that'll work. I, I've suggested it before and it looks good. Believe me, I'm not the most outspoken, extroverted, confident person in the world, but I think once you've started to build up a little bit of a portfolio of shots like this, people, they trust you. So you only really need to do it once or twice and it look good. And then they might even say to you like, oh, I'm gonna throw her up in the air or I'm gonna 
swing her around and things like that. Can you catch it on camera? I really like that shot that you did before. It just gets easier after that point. So the last shot that I usually get or I try to get is I'll just say to either the groom or the bride, okay, walk up to, to the other person and you're gonna walk slowly. I'm gonna catch you walking up to them. And when you get there, you're just gonna give the bride a little bit of a twirl or you're gonna you know, um, lean her over and give her a kiss, something like that. And yeah, again, often it's just a suggestion. Often they'll just say, yeah, cool. They might want to do it once or twice, whatever. Just, it's another option. It's another thing that you can possibly suggest. Some people might say, no, I'm not really feeling comfortable doing that. I don't think it'll look good. Fine, no worries, you don't lose anything. If they say yes and it looks good, then you have another shot and another bit of variety in the video. At the end of the day, this part of the day is all about you being creative, as creative as you want. Have some shots in your head already set up so that you're ready to go and get things kicked off and started. And then usually what happens to me is I just get creative inspiration as I'm working. Also depends on the couple and just suggest things as you go along. Like I said, if you have five minutes, you might not be able to get that much. You might just be able to get some shots of them walking and some close ups of them being together in a nice location. If you have 20 minutes, then yeah, try and use that time as much as you can. You've got a lot of um, time there to get a variety of different shots. So just have them all ready to go in your head. Try and push your comfort zone when it comes to those shots because that's the only way that you're probably gonna improve and, and get better when it comes to these kind of shots. So that's it guys, that's all I got for you. Um, let me know if you found the video useful in any way or if there's any other tips or recommendations that you have for getting good creative couple shots on a wedding day and I'd be happy to, to hear them and maybe take some of them on board. Thank you very much for watching again and I'm going to be putting out more of these kind of videos to, to help you guys or to just give my opinion on things when it comes to filming in general. So yeah, look out for some more of these kind of videos in 2019. That's going to be my New Year's resolution. Hopefully I'm going to stick to it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.